the story so far. Agent 47 and his handler, Diana Burnwood, are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. When all of their recent missions turn out to be contracts for a shadow client, things take an unexpected turn. All their targets have been operatives in an invisible organization known as Providence. Providence has infiltrated the highest echelons of power and secretly owns our world. The Shadow Client wages a silent war against them. And so the Constant, Providence's enigmatic controller, seeks Diana out. His request, track down and eliminate the Shadow Client. In return, he offers something irresistible. The truth of 47's lost origins. Neither know that the man they hunt is 47's childhood friend. And unlike 47, he remembers everything. Our intel indicates that she and her team are laying low, most likely planning the militia's next strike. Reynard is one of the Shadow Client's top lieutenants, and yet she's not a target. Not yet, anyway. She's no doubt high on our client's list, but for now, it's information we seek. Infiltrate the house and get us a lead on the Shadow Client. Up for some B&E, 47. On my way. No cars. They could be out. Could be lying low. Early 30. Executed. I see them. Oh, poor bastards. Looks like Reynard's grisly handiwork all right. She was never shy about collateral damage. The owners? Don't think so. The house is registered to a non-existing environmental NGO. This feels more like identity theft. Like you, Reynard is known to use disguises. Hmm. Keep looking, 47. Nothing we can do for these people now.
Found something. Looks like research reports. Berlin, Shanghai. Every major malicious strike since Thomas Cross's kidnapping. Looks like Reynard had a hand in all of them. All in the past, I'm afraid. Keep looking, 47. Forty-seven. That computer. See if you can't access it. Encrypted. Hmm. Assuming there's a key, Reynard wouldn't just leave it lying around. Wait. According to the floor plan, the room you're in should be a lot bigger. There might be a concealed space behind the wall. Check for hidden panels, 47. Ah, thought so. This should be interesting. Here we go. For the office computer, no doubt. Hmm. Appears Reynard's cell is launching another strike. Those are sewer maps of a residential area in Wellington. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Our priority is the Shadow Client. I'm detecting movement up the road. A motorcade, possibly Reynard's. Uploading the data. Hold on. Receiving it now. Hmm. Nothing on the Shadow Client or the other cells. No names, no aliases. I doubt she even knows whom she's working for. Wait, it, a message from Robert Knox of Kronstadt Industries. And by the sound of it, he's a Providence operative. A defector. Well, well, well. Client won't like this one bit. And you can't wait to tell him. They're back. Multiple hostiles. I see them. Damn. Okay, we've got all we're going to get. Go to stage two, 47. Eliminate Reynard, and preferably without raising suspicion. One step ahead of the Shadow Client for once. Let's keep it that way. Ugh, I thought this night would never end. What a snob fest. And I even missed out on the action. Oh, I'm sorry you had to endure all that free champagne and cello music, Orson. What can I say? You really took one for the team. Yeah, well, I say stick to what you know.
tell the house about me. Why am I what? You know what I mean. Welcome home, Alma. And guest. I'm staying here too, you know. The least you can do is teach him my name. Or maybe you don't expect to keep me around long enough to bother, is that it? I, uh, didn't know it was that important to you, Orson. What can I say? My bad. I've been using the safe house for years. Right, you and Sean. Bet the house knew his name. Okay, I guess I could change it into... Welcome, Alma and Sean, too. How's that? Mm, for me. Or maybe second Sean. That has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Or Sean Light. <laughs> you know what, I'll think of some more while I go and brush my teeth. Fine. I'm gonna hit the shower. You do that, Orson. I said, when are you shipping out again? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm supposed to rendezvous with the team and... Target down. Well done, 47. Now get off the property. Mercs have discovered your boat, 47. They're on high alert, combing the beach for intruders. Proceed with caution. Hmm. No way to get past them unnoticed. I suggest you cause a distraction, 47, and make it a loud one.
Well, it's official. New Zealand paid off. The client has given us carte blanche. Hunt down the militia by any means necessary. A week ago, Providence was a threat. How did you swing the board? The board are practical people, 47. A blank check is hard to turn down. Besides, the Shadow Client's war on Providence is causing a global panic. Someone will need to stop the militia. Might as well be us. And the man on the train? You never told them about his offer. Taking a contract for personal gain is against ICA regulations. Sodas would have been proud. Is that a sense of humor, 47? Whatever next, crying at the movies? Why are you doing this? I know what it's like to have everything taken from you. He claims to know about your past, your childhood, your memories, everything Ortmeier stole from you. And you trust him? About as far as I can throw him. But this is our best lead in 20 years. I say it's time we break a few rules. Welcome to Miami, 47. The innovation race is on its last day, and it is down to the wire. Thousands of eager fans are gathered for the final laps of this unexpectedly close race. Sierra Knox is expertly piloting her red Kronstadt car. Her father, Robert Knox, roams the nearby expo building where Kronstadt is showcasing its new prototype car. The Kronstadt RK Mark III has seen fierce competition from the Chinese Kowloon Heavy Industries' new racer. Moses Lee, CEO of Kowloon, has taken a dominant lead and looks invincible. Sierra Knox will need to risk it all if she wants to win for the third year in a row. The stakes are as high as they can get. Passed there earlier today. They wouldn't let me in since I'm not on the team. But you want to think twice about getting a job there. I saw that Miller woman, the head mechanic, arguing fiercely with one of the other mechanics. I'm not sure what it was about, but from the looks of it, Kronstadt is now one the That's perfect. This could be my big chance, man. I want to get out of this race martial business and into actual mechanics. Imagine if I beat stones with steroids.
See that red car, 47? That's the Kronstadt race car with Sierra Knox behind the wheel. <laughs> Thank you. Listen, Miller, I don't care about your problems, all right? I made it clear this morning that if things didn't change, I'd be off the Kronstadt team. Now, berate my steel to the mechanic because the roll cage interferes with the radio signals from Sierra's suit. No more. Just I'm just yes, 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 I know you're a man short now. And no, I don't give a rat's ass about it. There's please, always going to be someone who double my salary for the entire week. Off. And I'll come back it's in case Sierra decides to use that and laugh at the end of the day. Well, if you decide otherwise, I'll be down by the path. Best of luck, Grace. Dressed as a mechanic, you're now allowed inside the Kronstadt pit. I suggest you talk to Grace Miller, chief mechanic. She could probably use some extra hands. Your day to shine. Let's 
do this. You should investigate your station for John, yourself. it's great. Look, I'm in a deep hole. One of my guys is really jumped ship and I need a replacement ASAP. Are you available? Shit. All right. It right seems time. there are several ways to go about this. I suggest finding a pneumatic wrench. Now! Excellent, 47. And now for a bit of maintenance. Target down. Next up, Robert Knox. Just returning your call before heading over to the expo building to meet Knox for the new combat engine. No, not yet. I'm letting him stew. The guy's a gene after the presentation. Speak then. Ted Mendez, a defense funding...
anyone there? Who's throwing stuff around? Mr. Mendez, good to see you, sir. The demonstration is scheduled to take place on the upper floors. Please feel free to use the stairs right over there. They might have gotten away with bad haircuts, but they're not gonna get away with murder. Oh, hi there. Excuse me. Can you tell me where to go, please? It's just up these stairs. Derek, Mr. Mendez is here already. He's eager to get on with the demo. You should come by as soon as possible. Hello, sir. Have a lovely day. Ah, Ted, good to finally see you. Guess traffic was rough. Ah, never mind. Let me show you everything. I'm gonna say something provocative now, Ted. War is going out of fashion. It's dirty, it's just plain bad PR. Nobody wants to exchange their children and loved ones for flags and medals anymore. The glory is gone, Ted. But, luckily, Kronstadt has a solution for that. Imagine this. Android infiltrators operating in the field Disguised and fully embedded, ready to strike at a moment's notice. Indestructible robotic operators who can infiltrate the deepest sanctuary of any adversary, striking an unseen fatal blow. A surgical tool for a blunt world. Imagine an army of them, fully equipped android men seeking out wounded servicemen and injured civilians, bringing them to safety, or patching them up then and there. Android pilots delivering payloads deep inside enemy territory with uncanny precision and minimal collateral damage. All right, Mendez, it's very straightforward. Let me show you. I just pick any of the pictures on the desk, then I use the scanner to upload the biometric data, and Palace will do the rest. Obviously, the final system won't rely on you manually feeding it biometric data. This is still a prototype. This is a pivotal moment in modern conflict solution, Ted. Palace is entirely foolproof. All you need... ...to pick a phone.
on the table and scan it just like I showed you. It's perfectly safe. Go ahead. Make my day. how much more we can accomplish together. My brains, your money. The sky's the limit here, my friend. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'm old-fashioned. I still prefer the human touch. You're part of an old institution and you prefer the traditional approach. I respect that. But like it or not, this is the future you're looking at. Autonomous synthetic systems will entirely remove human agents from direct engagement. I guarantee this thing will absolutely murder anything you put it up against. Sounds promising. So, Mr. Mendez, impressive so far, yeah? Let me quickly show you our on-site Greetings, robotics. sir. It's small, but state-of-the-art, and it's fully mobile, so you can deploy it anywhere. Sir, get out my way. So, as part of the deal, Kronstadt will throw in one deployment cell per five units. Outfitted to enable on-site adjustments and calibrations, it'll be shipped in a bulletproof shell and can be dropped anywhere on the planet using the Kronstadt TC hmm. anything against. What are you thinking? Case, I'll let you hang out and look at everything for yourself. Hey, don't be a stranger, Ted. Greetings, sir. It's Mendez is ready for round two. You really need to get down here ASAP. What a pleasure. Ted, let me give you the rundown again. All right, I think we can skip the intro part. You know why we're building this, Ted. We're building the ultimate infiltration unit. Human-looking, driven by the best AI Kronstadt has ever built. A unit capable of full environmental immersion, ready to strike at a moment's notice. Palace is equipped with extremely advanced facial recognition systems, capable of complex skin texture analysis. Ultrasonic 3D information capture ensures the right targets are taken down every time. It's so good, I'm willing to stay one. Just scan one of the images, Mendez. Targets down. Well done, 47. Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon. This one's 